What if Goku was born a Saiyan Kai? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 9? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku Was Born a Saiyan Kai, we mentioned that Goku and Vegeta continued their training as it was now time for them to go and adventure inside Universe 6 since they were very curious to hear that there's a planet called Planet Sidala and they want to go and visit all the Saiyans. From there, we decided to go and guide them as Goku went and Kai Kai them to Universe 6 and now once when they got there, Goku went straight to Planet Sidala with Vegeta. Upon their arrival, Vegeta was busy talking with the King of all Saiyans. Goku was checking out the planet until he comes stumbling across Khalifa. From there, Hits has come to the planet since his mission was to go and assassinate Khalifa. Goku didn't allow Hits to do that as their battle has now begun. Goku went and uses Kaioken times 20 with his Super Saiyan Rose, but Hits was easily overpowering Goku and he saw that Hits also had God Key. Goku then went and displayed his new power as he is now transformed to his Super Saiyan. Rose 2. With his transformation, Goku has easily overpowered Hits. He even went and tried to trap Goku inside a time prison, but Goku managed to break it off and attack him, as Hits has now accepted his defeat and he left the planet. Vegeta came back as they're about to go right back to the universe, but Khalifa and Kel asked Goku to take them with them since they felt secure with them. What if Goku was born a Saiyan Kai? Part 9 Vegeta has now returned back to Beerus' world, waiting for Beerus himself to awake from his long slumber. While waiting, Vegeta decided to do some meditation, but from there, Beerus has now woken up as he called for Whis. Whis went towards Beerus and when he saw Beerus, he then said, It's about time you woke up, my lord. Well, how's everything going with Vegeta? Did he make any progress, Whis? Hmm, yes he did, my lord. He's actually waiting for you outside as we speak. Hmm, very good. I'm looking forward to fighting him to see if he's strong enough to give me some fun or not. And once I beat him, I'm gonna go right back to sleep. Hmm, as you wish, my lord. He's outside as we speak, like I said before. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Beerus, after waiting and prophesizing about fighting someone as strong like that of a Super Saiyan God, Beerus has now arrived right next to Vegeta as he saw him and said, Well, well, Vegeta, I can tell just by looking at you, your power has grown massively. Let's see how strong you are when you fight me one on one. I want you to push me to have a good fight. Uh, sure, Lord Beerus. After all, I have been waiting for this moment to fight you. All this training has been meant just so I could fight you one on one, huh? Pretty much saying, I want to see how strong you are. And to make it even more fun, let's make this battle to our death. You can say this is a true battle of the gods. Hearing that, Vegeta went right into his fighting position and now they stared at one another. Hmm, it is time for Vegeta to show Beerus what he's made out of. While that was underway, Goku was worried on what happened on planet Earth as he tried to sense Broly's power level but he had trouble picking up even Broly's power. From there, Goku began to sense the other Z fighters but it was very faint. Upon looking into the crystal ball, they saw that some part of Earth was ruined as some part was instantly destroyed although it was still revived and that Earth was still intact but the people inside there were gone. Nothing could be explained what was happening as they saw that West City was completely annihilated. Supreme Kai got a bit worried on what's going on, as he looked towards Goku with a very worried face and said, Maybe we should go check it out, what do you say Goku? Khalifa asked if she can come with Goku, but Goku said no. This is something I need to go on my own. But what puzzles me is where's Broly? Out of all the people, why can't I sense his power? Wanting to get some answers, Goku decided to go and Kai Kai towards planet Earth 
in the hopes of finding Broly and finding out what is going on on planet Earth and that why are some of the life forces gone before Goku can go in Kai Kai. Someone has now arrived towards Supreme Kai's planet. Everyone can sense his power as he looked towards him and said, So this is where you've been hiding this whole time, Goku? I have been wondering where I can find you. Hmm? Who are you? And how did you come here? <laughs> you don't need to know that. What you need to know is I'm here to kill you myself. Tell me, are you responsible of what happened on planet Earth? <laughs> yeah, that is me. In the hopes of finding you, but you are too stubborn to even come to protect the Earth. So I decided to come towards you. This mysterious warrior went and he powered up his key. Goku, upon sensing his power, sensed that this mysterious warrior had God Key. Goku then went and he powered up his key as he is transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose. From there, Goku and the mysterious warriors went and they exchanged blows with one another. As they managed to go and kept this up for some time, seeing that this warrior was able to match every move of Goku, Goku decided to go and kick it up a notch, so he went and transformed into his Super Saiyan 2 Rose. <laughs> Tell me who you are! You want to know who I am? I'll tell you. But for that, you need to get stronger. Your current state will be no match for me. Go and train. I'll be waiting for you on Earth. As the mysterious warrior has disappeared right before them. Leaving Goku and the rest of the Kai shocked on who he is and they were confused on how he was able to come to the sacred world of the Kai's. Zamasu went and he called Goku again to tell him to come to his universe since it was very important. Goku went and he kai kai to Zamasu's world. Upon arriving, Goku saw that Zamasu was in distress and said, Goku, we need to talk. There's something you should know. What is it, Zamasu? Zamasu then told Goku that he has used the time ring and he saw what happened in the future and that the mysterious warrior that Goku has fought with, he is related with him. Upon hearing that, Goku said, What? What are you saying, Zamasu? How can he be related to me? I'm serious, Goku. Here, take this. As he hand Goku the time ring, and now they went right back to the past. Goku saw that the time when he came to Chi Chi's village as a teenager, and he managed to go and save everyone. From Amber Pilaf's wrath, Goku and Chi Chi spent a night together. But in that night, Chi Chi managed to get pregnant. From there, she went and gave birth towards a boy and named him Gohan since Grandpa Gohan was with Chi Chi and Ox King and he helped raise Gohan and even train him. Gohan was the son of Goku which he never knew. Goku didn't know how to react and from there Zamasu took him far ahead of the timeline and said, In this timeline, some androids has come and they managed to go and kill everyone including Chi Chi leaving Gohan to be the last one standing, and from there he kept calling, searching for you, Goku. Seeing what happened, Goku saw that Gohan was trying to find where his father is, while his mother got slaughtered by all the androids. Not being able to locate his father, Gohan decided to go and put the blame on his father for everything that happened bad towards him, since he felt that his father has abandoned him. And from there, he has set his mind to kill Goku at any cost. He's your son, which makes him a half Kai, and therefore, it's on you, Goku. You know what to do when you deal with this situation. I know, I heard. Dai Shinkin told me that whenever there's a bad Kai inside our universes, it is up to us to destroy them. But he's my son! How can I destroy him? Remember, Goku, you're a Kai first. You're right, Zamasu. Thank you for reminding me. But you're not alone. I'm gonna go with you, Goku. I'm there with you in every step. <laughs> Thanks, Zamasu. From there, Goku and Zamasu has now Kai Kai to planet Earth. Upon their arrival, Goku and Zamasu saw that everything inside the city was ruined. Goku went and he tried to sense where Broly was, but he was able to pick up his power level but noticed that it was very faint and that he could sense that Broly was on a brick of death. Goku then Kai Kai to where Broly was. And from there, he saw that Broly's entire chest had a huge hole in it. 
Goku went and he used his power to heal Broly. As he got right back to 100% and he asked him, what happened? Broly told Goku, I don't know. The last I remember, I was doing something for Boma, and from there, I got stabbed in the back by some mysterious person. And I wake up to this. Whoever did this to my planet, I'm going to kill them. That's why we're here, Broly. We're going to put an end towards him. He came to fight me too. Before they know it, Gohan has arrived right before them and said, Well, well, Goku, are you ready for round two? You're messing with the wrong Kai. We know who you are, Gohan. Well, then you also know that I'm your son. Father? <sighs> You're not my son. My son can never be this evil. You try to kill me and my loved ones? I'm gonna end you for that. Broly has transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan. While that was happening, Vegeta and Beerus' battle has begun. Vegeta went and he rushed towards Beerus, but before he can land a hit, Beerus went and kicked him right in his stomach as he easily overpowered Vegeta in his base and said, If you want to win Saiyan, you need to go and use more power, otherwise I'll Hawkeye you right here. Vegeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. With that transformation, their battle got even more intense as both of them went and they were landing blow to blow against each other. Beerus was amazed with Vegeta's power and told him that if this is all the power you got within you, you won't stand a chance against me Saiyan. Beerus went and used 100% of his power. We smiled while Vegeta went and did the same. Back on Earth, Broly went and rushed towards Gohan as he grabbed him by his face and he started to attack him. Goku and Zamasu noticed that Gohan was enjoying getting hit by Broly, which got him confused in the matter and from there, Gohan said, Is that all you got? Let me show you my power. Gohan has transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. Upon seeing that, they all noticed that Gohan's power was far different from Vegeta, and reason being is because he is Goku's son, and with his potential and being born a half Saiyan, Kai and a half human, his potential was something else. Gohan came right in front of Broly and striked him right in his guts, as he was trying to gasp for air and before he could react, Gohan went and kicked him in his face. Goku saw that this was his cue, so he went and entered a battle as he has used his Super Saiyan 2 Rose. Upon seeing his father use that power, Gohan smiled and said, Not bad father, now let's have some fun. Both Goku and Gohan went and they rushed towards each other as their power clashed with one another and they were going at it. Goku went and kicked Gohan in the face, but Gohan didn't take time to retaliate as he went and landed hit himself and from there they were going at it. Goku was amazed to see that Gohan was able to keep up with his Super Saiyan 2 Rose power and said, Not bad Gohan, I'm amazed you're able to keep up with me. You stole my line off of my tongue father, I'm amazed that a lowly Kai is able to keep up with me. You went the wrong way Gohan, if you're my son, why didn't you ever come to me with your Kai Kai, why couldn't you take care of your mother? That was your responsibility as a father and husband, you can't blame me Gohan. I didn't even know you existed! That's enough! Gohan went and he decked Goku right in his guts. As he went and powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Goku. Goku tried to block it but from there he saw that after releasing the attack, Gohan somehow managed to come right in front of him as he grabbed onto Goku and from there both of them got hit by Gohan's Kamehameha wave. After being hit by Gohan's attack, Goku fell to the ground. While everyone was very confused on how Gohan didn't get any damage, while Goku took most of the damage from the wave. 
What's the matter? Surprised to see how I'm able to stand that attack and not Goku? You could thank the Dragon Balls for that. I have used to wish myself to become immortal. That's right. With the power of immortality and the power of being born a half Saiyan Kai, you could say I am a god. You foolish mortal. You're never a god. You're nothing like us. Silence, you pointy ears. You're next. Gohan went and he used his hand as a blade as he went towards Zamasu while Zamasu did the same and they both went and rushed towards each other. But Gohan managed to go and cut him down. But from there Goku got up and said, Gohan, this isn't over yet. What could you do father? You have been beaten by me. Let me show you the power I have gained by training with the angel. Goku has now used a power called the Autonomous Ultra Instinct. While that was happening, back on Beerus' world, Vegeta was being overpowered by Beerus until he looked towards Whis and Whis gave him the signal. Vegeta then smiled and looked towards Beerus and said, It is time Beerus, I'm gonna take your position and be the destroyer for Universe 7! Vegeta has tapped in to his destroyer mode. With Vegeta fighting off with Beerus to see who's going to be the next destroyer and Goku using Ultra Instinct power against his son who is corrupted, who will win this battle? Will Goku and Vegeta prevail or will this be the end for the both Saiyan that were supposed to be linked with one another? All of this will be answered in the next episode of What If Goku Was Born A Saiyan Kai. Make sure you click the bell my Z fans so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become one of the first Z fighters.